Hello friends, welcome back to our channel. Today we will see a one more session in Django framework. So in our previous session we have seen how to create a project and creation of a simple web page which is a static. In this session we will see how can we create an app. Okay, so previously we have created a project and now we will see the procedure to create app. So what is the difference between app and project? So app is nothing but a web application and where it will be in the project. So one project can have a multiple web apps. So we can create a web page in that app and we can execute that web page using the URLs in the project. So in this session, we'll see how can we create web application that is app. Okay. So for that, the common procedure, first go to the command prompt and go to the environment. So we have to uh, activate the environment first. So for that, I'm going to the location where we are have, having the environment. So CD Django underscore project and uh, CD scripts. And here we need to activate so that the virtual environment will be there, come out from the scripts. And here we have created one project that is a first project, okay or a web page we have also created a web page project so let us move on with the web page project so cd web page okay so sorry so here we need to run the server so run the server so before running the server let us create an app here so for creating the project the command we have seen is uh, django hyphen admin i'll write here okay so yeah for creating a project django hyphen admin start project and project name right now we are creating the app so create start app and give the app name so i'll give the app name as app one okay so let us create a multiple apps so i'm creating app one as a one app in project web page so don't get confused here so this is the project folder in that project folder we have created one project called a web page in this project we are creating an application okay now run the server here so check whether there is a manage.py yes manage.py is here so we can run this server python manage.py run server so it will run the server on the back end so we'll be getting the local host 127.0.0.1 so we can check whether it has been installed successfully so yes actually we, some sort of uh, web page we have created a web page and that is being executed here right okay no problem so in the previous session we have created the web page so okay no problem so in this session we'll see uh, go to the Visual Studio Code and open that folder, that project. Open that project. So go to the open folder and go to the C drive. Give the location here. Go to the users and this particular username. And in this, we are having environments. In this environment, Django project. In that web page. Don't double click here. Just select it and click on select folder you can observe here we got some web page project files and one app one which we have created app one is a one more app we have created inside the project web application so expand this one you will be finding the same set of files here okay so apart from these files we are getting uh, admin.py apps.py models.py test.py views.py so previously if you create a project this views.py will not be there. So we have to create a file called views.py. And if you observe here, there is no URLs in this app because URLs will be available in project. Okay, so here app is a part of project. So in app, go to the views and here you can write the view. And you have to link this view inside the URLs of that particular project. Okay, 
now let us see so go to the app one which we have created just now so go to the views and here let us create a view so the same thing from uh, django.http uh, let us import http response now let us create here one view with using the definition right functions so def so display one so let us take display one as uh, name of a function and which takes one parameter which is a request and here it have to return the response so we have seen how, why we are writing the request why we are writing the http response in our previous sessions so everything the link will be provided in the description just follow that one so http response so display function in app one okay so this one we have created now we have to import the same in url because we have to link this one in the url itself so go to the url so here there is no url because this is a web app so you can create a url and you can uh, uh, give the complete details here or else directly we can make use of the urls of that project so web page is a project in that project we are having urls so click on urls so here just uh, i am removing this one instead of this one now let us give the app name app one dot views import what's the function name given display underscore one so this is a function name we have imported and similarly in this patterns also instead of uh, giving here let's wait so i'll remove this thing so let us link here path is equal to let us give okay empty that's a home page so let us take home remove here give the name of function display one one and name you can give any name no problem okay so you can just save it and refresh the home page see you will be getting display function in app one so here we have created one app inside the project okay inside the project hope you understood and see so i'll give a bold uh, one so we can also give the html tags here so we'll go in depth in our further sessions as of now i'm giving only one simple tag that is a bold and now you can see a urls so here i'll give some name so one i'll give one uh, so that if you refresh this home page so nothing will be done here we need to extend the port with one so that we'll be getting the details right similarly you can also create one more app we can also create one more app see let us come out from this environment control c and create one more app so in order to create one more app again same django hyphen admin space start app give the app name uh, let us what's the previous app it's app one now i'll go with the app two so now we are creating app two now again we have to run the server so for that python manage.py run server so server is running out so go to the vs code and now check out see app 2 is there app 1 app 2 in this app 2 also we are having a views so here again you can simply give a one more uh, file django.http import http response right and create your views here so here you can write down the definition so i'll write display 2 with a request and you have to return the response so what is the response http response and uh, here you can write 
display function in app 2 right so we have done this one and we have to make a reference of this one in urls so url in web project so here again copy the same and give here here now it is app 2 and here it is display 2 and here also we have to give path give two name as a two so give it as display two and name as so any, any anything you can give right so index and now let us take some home any name you can give so save and go to the local host if it is one we are getting display function in app one and instead of uh, one if you give it as a two so we'll get display function in app 2 so that web page will be executed right so this is how we can create apps inside the project so only one difference among project and app is a project can have multiple apps so web applications multiple web applications so one more difference if you create a project you will you don't have an access of views so we have to create the views file views.py and if you create an app inside the project that will not contain the urls and it will be having the views.py where you have to create a web page and you have to link it in the urls.py which is available in the project itself so you can observe now so this is a project so project is having two apps which we have now created and this is these are the files associated with that particular project so initialization settings and everything so in the settings you will be having everything everything see apps will be there and similarly templates will be there database connectivity will be there authenticate passwords validators will be there so we'll see in our further sessions we will we'll be we'll came to know about all these things how what are the what is the use of apps what is the use of templates what is the use of a databases what is the use of a password validators everything we'll see in our further sessions you need not worry right so in this session we have learned how can we create apps in the project so hope you understood and enjoyed so if you really enjoyed my session like my session share my session with your friends and don't forget to subscribe to our channel thanks for watching thank you very much